Hello there, and welcome back to Monarch. I think I'm strong enough now. Hopefully. I mean, I farmed quite a bit. It seems this place, too, is linked to the depth. Rio Taro's memo. Some students managed to get in here. Maybe they got an eye for art. Their ears are pretty discerning, too, but not exactly in the same way. You following me? Best try and keep it down, Mr. VB. <laughs> really? Shin Mikado Middle School. Shin Mikado High School. Shin Mikado Dormitory <laughs> I still can't believe I guessed the dormitory <laughs> Shin Mikado Seven Secrets That's supposed to mean Date group dirt, not date group. Founding. Time to settle this. No way around it. Wait, I'm missing a note. Hey! Let's see. In 1934. Interesting. Faith in hope and charity in action. Been expecting you, Mr. VP. K 
can't say the same for you, though. <sighs> what, the Dean ain't coming? There's no need for Sora to bother. We are more than enough to handle you. Oh, yeah? You sure seem confident about that. Mr. VP backing you up's making you feel real brave, huh? Yes. Hmm. You've changed. It's no fun messing with you anymore. Well, you haven't changed at all. Why won't you give up your power? You know what's happening with the distortions. Why are you putting the Academy in even more danger? Shouldn't you be asking the Dean that? It's her authority that's cutting us off from the outside world. She's the one bottling up in here. She did it to protect the rest of the world from them. Yeah, but she's a pack bearer too. Isn't she one of the reasons why they even exist in the first place? Without her power, the damage would be so much worse. She's only doing it to protect the Academy from the Pact Bearers. Bearers, right. What, you think I plan on destroying the world or something? Not for now, at least. For now, huh? That's your argument. Can't you say the same thing about the Dean? <sighs> Grinds my gears that you're acting like she's the one exception. I understand that you don't like her. But why are you so fixated on keeping her powers? You're seriously asking me that after all this? You should already know by now. You've been running around, shattering my ideals. My reasons aren't anything special. I just want to get stronger. I want to kick my old man, my big bro, and their money-grubbing buddies down a notch. Those guys piss the hell out of me. I do what I want, how I want. And no one's gonna stop me from accomplishing my goals. That's all there is to it. If I don't do it, nobody will. I won't give in. Not as long as my name is Ryotaro Date. That's my ego. And I ain't changing it. I had a feeling you'd say that. Still. I don't understand why someone as confident as you wants an authority. Why can't you don't need one? Huh? Sure, someone gave me this power. But it's still mine. What's wrong with me using it? Besides, if my ideals shatter, my soul does too. Same goes for this wish. The stuff I live my life by. Even if that's true, don't you feel guilty about using it? It'll make the distortions worse. What happened to Chio wouldn't be a one-time occurrence. Nope. That's not my problem to deal with. The fact that you're here trying to stop me right now is proof of that. I'll admit, your reasoning checks out. You mean... Nope. I'm still not gonna give in. If we can't see eye to eye, we gotta see whose convictions are stronger. Through a fight. <laughs> Don't come crying to me after we wipe the floor with you. <laughs> if that's how it ends up, then my convictions were too weak. I don't have a problem with that. Do you? <sighs> Earlier, I said you hadn't changed at all. But I take it back. You have changed. You're weaker now. What? 
Where's your confidence? Your will to fight? The way you're talking, it sounds like... Like you want to lose to us. Like you want us to stop you. You gotta be shitting me. I'd never lose. Not to you, not to the Dean, and sure as hell not to whatever jacked up system this world runs on. I can't afford to. I'm the only one who can protect what matters most to me. My ego is mine alone. And I'm not gonna stand for anyone getting their hands on my stuff. We're gonna be the ones doing the taking. Right, Gula? Enough with the chit chat. Let's end this! Here and now! I read that the designs sometimes don't fit the scene. Like, that is not what I imagined Gluttony to look like. By my hand. Here I go. Null and void. I can't lose. I want one as pure as yours. <laughs> so naughty. Exterminate! Is this even a challenge? Die already. I'll take it all. Die already. Is this die already? Is this even... I'll take it all. How's this? Is this even a challenge? I ain't stopping now. Unacceptable. Too easy. Hm. I'll eat you up. Insolence. Hm. To victory. I've got you. I can't lose. <laughs> Naughty. After you, leave it to me. I've got you. I can't lose. My ego. Is this even a challenge? Take 
Get out of my way! Oh, okay, that works. Thanks. I've got you. I'll give it my all. You've got this. Advance. You're open. Is this even? Yours. After you. Roger that. My ego. Is this even a challenge? I'll take it all. Very 
So great. Time for a massacre. I ain't stopping now. Unacceptable. <laughs> Tiresome. Here I go. I can't lose. To victory. I can't lose. Mow up down! <laughs> so naughty. Is this even a challenge? I'll take it all. Destroy! I'll back you up. Losing mid. That's alright. To victory. Take this. I'll back you up. Time for a massacre. I ain't stopping now. Unacceptable. No. To fix I can't <laughs> What's that supposed to her? I'll take it. I'm losing it. All you hang in there. I'll take it all. It is done. Victory. Oh, they have to be resonated for stab. I was hoping I could kind of cheat it a bit. Oh well. All this I can't lose. I ain't I'll devour it all! To victory! That's nice and all, but you can't shoot through walls is the problem. I'll take it. I'm losing, I'm losing the madness. I'll take it all. I'm losing it. I'm losing. I'm losing it. I'll take it all. Actually, no, they think about it. My ego. What? I won't look down on myself. I'm losing it. Ah, come on! Great. I'll take it all. I'm losing, I'm losing, I'm losing it. Let's see who's about to go mad. There we go. All you. Ah! I'll be okay. That's all right. Together is one. Ah! Control the madness. Get up. As you command. Knock and Just watch me. No need to hold back. Go ahead, eat your fill. <laughs> Full already? Unacceptable. Advance!
I've got you! I can't dial out. Is this I'll take it all? Dial ready. I can't. <laughs> so naughty. Just <laughs> So naughty. Following up. Back at ya. Is this even a challenge? Your turn. Roger that. A top figures. The weak are meek. To victory! I'm proud of you, Shinya. I won't lose to anyone. It's a very good amount of spirit. <clears throat> Looks like I lost. Your selfishness. Your unfound confidence. Your devil may care attitude. You irritate me in more ways than I can count. <clears throat> I want to get stronger too. We're the same in that respect. But the people you loved most were taken from you, while I was thrown away by the people I loved. You believed in yourself, while I gave up on myself. They're almost nothing alike. Your ego is strong and optimistic. I always envied you for it. But looking at you right now, there's nothing to be jealous of anymore. It's like you're suffocating. All I see from you is suffering. <laughs> you feel guilty. Don't you? About what happened to Chio. You can't admit it. But you can't lie to yourself either. So that's what you think, huh? <laughs> Makes me sound pathetic. Even if I admitted it, nothing would change. Sometimes, what gets taken from you is gone for good. The dead stay dead. Forgiveness, atonement. I don't deserve any of it. Not after what I've done. So that's what you think, huh? It's not like you to give up so easily. <laughs> yeah, it sure isn't. So, while I'm being out of character, if you're so jealous, 
Why don't you try being more honest with yourself? Huh? You're the closest friend you've got. You gotta learn to love yourself. <laughs> you might be a shit-eating little roach, but that doesn't make you worthless. Dubrovnik, Chesky Krumlov, Santa Fe, Hoi An, Li Jiang. Vibrant, brilliant cities filled with beauty beyond compare. I flew around the world, basking in their indescribable majesty. As my heart was stolen time and time again, I thought I finally understood the words Gramps said to me. Grow stronger so you can protect what matters most to you. Leave a monument of your existence, so you can steal people's hearts, not their lives. An earthquake hit, and Mom died. She was crushed by a collapsing building. Her life was stolen before my very eyes. I admired that which stole the hearts of others. I wanted to leave my mark on the world. The building wasn't strong enough, and neither was I. Even now, my wounds are still fresh. The grief of having something stolen from me. The awe of it being taken to begin with. I hate feeling powerless. I don't want anything to be taken from me any longer. So I swore that I'd grow stronger. He wanted to leave behind something so grand it'd steal people's hearts? <sighs> Unbelievable. What an ego on that guy. It's so bright and garish. I'm almost jealous. Thanks for bringing Rio Taro all the way over here, you two. Just when Kurama and the others get better, a new one comes rolling in. Don't worry too much. I don't know what's ailing him. He might suffer a bit of- Thanks, Dr. Nako, but knowing this guy... He'll be himself again eventually, even if he does lose some of his memories. He's not the kind of person who would go out with a whimper. <laughs> you like Ryotaro a lot more than you want to admit, don't you? <laughs> not on your life. Now that I think about it, where's Kokoro? Is she not here? Kokoro? I haven't seen her. I... see. Oh, right. Miss Sora was looking for you two. You... You should make sure you don't... Though so I've at I Shinya, thank you both for your hard work. 
and for taking care of Mr. Date. I'm glad to see you managed to resolve things without incident. Yes, no lives were lost after all. There's a reason I called the two of you here. Three reasons, actually. To give my thanks, to offer my apologies, and to provide a learning experience. Yes, this will serve as an important lesson for Shinya. Does he really need to be that? Of the seven pact bearers initially confirmed when the anomalies began, every one has now been defeated. Were it not for your help, this would have taken much longer to resolve. I might have had to take more drastic action. You have my sincerest thanks for saving our academy from the Pact Bearers, as well as the Anomalies. That being said, one Pact Bearer yet remains. I'm talking about you. Shinya? What are you going to do to him? I'm surprised you even have to ask. The same thing we do to all Pact Bearers, of course. They must be dealt with appropriately. Dealt with? But... He's always had the Academy's best interests in mind. He's been fighting the distortions and other pack bearers this whole time! If you need him to break his pact and give up his powers, there has to be a peaceful way to do it! <laughs> I find this quite regrettable myself, you know. But there's simply nothing else to be done. His very existence cannot be permitted. We have no other recourse but to erase him from the world. Uh. Didn't you find it odd? There is no mist associated with you. Even my pact has a corresponding mist. I utilized every means at my disposal to search every inch of space within the barrier. Using even the slightest degree of one's power within the campus should result in mist. And yet, your power has not affected any area of the Academy. How could you? You don't even know where they are. Only your demon would. But a demon would never allow an ideal to be destroyed unless it benefited them. And besides, I couldn't possibly trust a pact bearer that has no mist. Miss Aikawa lost her life because of the distortions. They never would have intensified the way they did if it weren't for the authorities. You, of all people, should know full well the potential dangers of an existence like yours. You are a threat who mustn't be allowed to exist. You must be eliminated, here and now. It truly is a pity to lose someone so noble. Bear with me. I hope you understand my decision. At the very least, 
I will erase you as painlessly as I can manage. Don't worry. It will be as if you never existed at all. Everyone will forget you. No one will need to mourn your death. No one will feel the agony of losing you, like the way you did for Miss Aikawa when she died. Now please, be at ease and go in peace. <sighs> You're joking. Right, Sora? Shinya? You're going to need to learn to accustom yourself to such things. This is one of the duties of the Jingu family, harsh as it may seem. They are packed bearers, the seeds of disaster. The power they possess should not exist in this world. That can't be! You're a pack bearer too! Aren't you? And? He isn't the kind of person that would use his powers for his own gain! Can't he be an exception like you too? He and I are nothing alike. I am the one and only exception. As such, I cannot permit it. didn't work out this time either, it seems. How unfortunate. It would appear the excitement is just too much for you, Shinya. We'll just have you forget this once more. We can always try again later on. You're a prospective head of the Jingu family, after all. We'll have you learn step by step. Sora! What are you saying? <laughs> There's no need to be afraid, Shinya. All of this is for your own good. Now then. I bid you farewell. Allow me to conclude by offering my sincerest gratitude for what you've done. And with that... Let us celebrate our births. Huh? What did I... My word. Sora. Shinya. What on earth is going on? What are you doing here? That... force field... Just what are you trying to do? Why would you use... Wait... Your... Ah! My head... Feet... What... Am I? I've forgotten something. Sora, I... What is ha Stop! Do not remember. You do not need to remember. All I did was make it so his memories of this moment never existed. What is Hugo doing here? I made certain he wouldn't come. <laughs> well, you see, I was the one who asked him to. <laughs> Sora? Sora? It's been a while.
That's exactly right. Ah, <sighs> that took ages. It feels good to finally be myself for once. Yoru? That's right, Shinya. This is the first time you're meeting the real me, isn't it? I was pretending to be Sora each and every time we met. What the heck are you? <laughs> You want to know? You really, really want to know? Uh. Good morning, Sora. You would like to know as well, yes? Who I really am? I am another Sora, subconsciously created by Sora. Or at least, that's what I was. I was born so that she wouldn't be destroyed by contradictions and chaos. I was born so that I could shoulder the burden of her pain. Are you... an alter ego? With the chaos the Pact Bearers created, the strife within Sora's soul only grew. In encountering others' powers and using her own, she began to realize that she herself was distorted. As a result, I myself have become so terribly powerful. But not quite as much as I'd like. My power is far from perfect. Sora has yet to be assimilated, after all. In order to do so... I need to break her even further. To obliterate everything that makes her who she is. only intending to kill Yugo, to think Sora would follow suit. <gasps> Sora... Yugo... there... dead? from erasing you. You're safe. For now, anyway. There were so many things I wanted to chat about. So many favors I wanted to ask of you. But everything went so swimmingly that you're no longer useful to me. Which means there's no more point in me keeping you around. So go on, do as you like. I'll be absorbing Sora's power though, so it'll only be a matter of time before I break this barrier. Stop. Hmm? What is it, Shinya? I won't let this go. 
You killed Sora and Yuko. So I'm gonna kill you! Stop trying to run and face me! Such a brave little man. And so adorable. But the time for bravado is over, boy. I'm going to absorb Sora's ideals. Now that I don't have to deal with those pests griping about the distortions, I'm finally free. I have so much to do. So many things I want to use my power for. So much fun to be had. I'll kill you. You hear me? <laughs> Things will certainly be more dreary and drab now that Sora's gone. So I'll be around, waiting with bated breath for you to kill me. If you can, that is. Don't let me down, hmm. Ta-ta! Yuko, Sora, I was right here, but I, I still couldn't protect them. <sighs> no matter what happens, I won't let her get away with this. I'm going to kill her. I have to. Come with me to fight her. She killed Sora and Yuko. She's despicable, unforgivable, dangerous! Yeah, that's right. She's dangerous. We can't just leave her unchecked. She's using Sora's power like it's just a game to her. We can't let her do that. She can't be allowed to roam free in the outside world. Please, help me kill her. I will for you, Shibuya. Thank you so much. All right, let's go track that monster down. See, is a being born from Sora. Shatter her ideals and end the horror. Vanitas, where have you been skulking? Were you just eavesdropping this whole time? She killed Sora and Yugo. How could you just stand by and let it happen? <laughs> I can't say I know what it is you expected. I make it a point to remain disconnected. Demon bastard. We need to hurry and shatter Sora's ideals. This is the key to the main building's basement. There's a basement in every year's building. Even Yugo and I weren't allowed to access them. Sora never confirmed this with me. But that's probably where her mist is. There's no more time left to waste. I need to kill Yoru as soon as possible. Oh. Act 2! Shinya Yuda! Unhinged Darkness! Unhinged Darkness!
That's a pretty good description of Yoru, to be fair. It's a bit late for this, but I'm sorry for what happened with Sora. I never thought things would have come to that. <sighs> I'm glad you managed to make it out okay. I really am. Fair enough. I'm the closest friend I've got, huh? Sorry about that. I was just thinking about what Ryotaro said. Sora and Yuga were always important to me. <sighs> and even then, I wasn't able to protect them. How can I possibly love myself knowing that? I wonder what the difference will be this time around. <laughs> it appears your mind is in the midst of musing. Spirit for your thoughts? I want to void my fact. Yours? <laughs> How amusingly, affably adorable. But come now, kid. Be reasonable. You're asking for the unfeasible. Just what in the world are you? Now quit quibbling. Interesting. <laughs> I've been wondering about that. Vanitas claims that it's Im unfeasible, meaning that it's something that can't be done. So, does that mean Vanity's pack doesn't even exist in the first place? I feel as though I've. I Wait. Don't tell me it's the same situation with the Monarch of Woe. That instead of a pack bearer, it's. The monarch themselves will somehow gain a human form. But then that doesn't explain Vanitas, though. Ah, oh well. We'll find out. But unfortunately for this episode, I've run out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I sincerely hope you enjoyed Monarch. I sincerely hope you will consider giving me your viewership again in the future sometime. And with... <clears throat> Kindly like, comment, and also preferably subscribe, yeah I know I messed that up, to this channel so that I may embrace the madness, um, and develop my ego so that I can reach enlightenment and no, wait, wrong order, damn it, it was supposed to be awakened then enlightenment, oh well since I already messed it up that horribly, uh, with that as a very stupid uh, ending note, I suppose. I bid you all fun. Bye.